do in the morning? Sitting here saying ephilism is a hate crime and making the accusation that ephilists hate living things, and that's not the argument at all. It's the very fact that we value living things and their sentience and their welfare that we think something needs to be done because you're squandering and wasting too much of their suffering. If somebody gave you power, what would you do with it? Impose suffering on trillions of sentient organisms so you could what? Go bowling? She's always trying to imply that there's something dogmatic or religious in perceiving evolution as a process where you start with something that's just replicating for no good reason, just because the chemistry made it possible, and that it replicates on an island planet, so to speak, and that it does so now parasitically or cannibalistically. And to acknowledge that truth, to state that truth, is somehow a religious dogma. It's not a good mechanism. It's not an efficient or clean or precise mechanism. You can see the obvious flaws in it the obvious irregularities, the obvious dents, the obvious brokenness. These are not flattering things. Look at it and say, what do we do about that? It's only rational. It's just a rational thing to do. She doesn't think that's rational. We should not be judgmental of the God nature. And it is her God. Quite obviously, she has dogmatically accepted that nature must be as it is. It is not for us to judge, it is not for us to augment or to manipulate to better efficiency, because it's her God.